Okay, I got the Ma set the Ma Sampra I purchased today working. As you can see it no longer wobbles like crazy. <laughs> I'm <laughs> tempted to take it up to medium and high speeds, but I'm gonna wait till later to do that. Whenever I get the mail junction box. You can see one of the ugly spiders on this ceiling fan, see it? Of course, them ugly spires are reasons we don't have 50 million bugs anymore. Now, both of these ceiling fans are going, the Moss Emperors are going at the same speed. And before anyone says anything, I believe that this one is a, is a version that was built at least 30 years before this one. Because this one, it still has the AM lamp socket on it. Which... If you look at older ceiling fan videos from like, I think 1930s and below that time, they had the lamp socket on them. Although this ceiling fan has been rewired at least once for one reason. Up there is a silver knob, not a pull chain like they used to do. <laughs> Which... I'm probably not going to try to change that out. I mean, it's going to be more trouble for me to change it out than to leave it the way it is. Plus, the other ceiling fans already had the little black switches on them, or these little finger switches. Now, the, mo the Minuet 2 that was here before, I'm frankly deciding on what to do with it. Because there's nowhere to put it. It is currently in here sitting on a metal pile, which this metal was used for making the roof, and now it's holding one of the ceiling fans. I'm going to figure out what to do with it in the next couple of days. More than likely, I'm going to I'm going to wind up selling it off to get the parts to get the new Moss Emperor up 100% correctly because I need to take and sand off all that white paint off of it plus I need to get new junction boxes and, and I'm debating on whether to purchase a longer down rod or to pull the wires up tighter to the ceiling which is also one of the reasons I'm not running it on high because it is literally less than an inch from that orange wire right there. <laughs> or less than two inches, rather. All I just got to do is tie it up. But as you can see, it now runs perfectly on low speed. <laughs> and whenever I was taking and tapping the ceiling fans, these were the measurements after I tapped it the first three times and got and figured to try the method that they used on AM expert village where you take and slap the fan and also on the vintage or the Moss Emperor on a um, Emerson Coley thing where he showed us how to get the blades a bit more level anyway now, you can, now both of these ceiling fans are throwing off a pretty good breeze and they're both on low right now. I need to. And they're going to pretty much stay on low for right now. Till either it gets hot. Till tomorrow when it gets hot. Or if it gets. Or just if things change. Anyway. And more than likely for that minuet too. I'm probably going to wind up selling it off. Because. I don't got anywhere to put that ceiling fan now. It it can't go in the bathrooms because there's just ain't enough ceiling height in them rooms. And there's really nowhere else, so I'll have it figured out though whenever I post the video in a cup another video in a couple of days. Whenever I go back through and re re mount all these ceiling fans. Anyway, 